Hello, and welcome to Sun's Customer Engineering Conference. Doing a video blog here with Jonathan Schwartz, CEO and uh, head cheerleader, I would say. Jonathan, thanks for joining us today. Uh, great to be here. Great keynote speech. Got everybody excited. Good. Uh, you talked a lot about adoption and, and the need to go expand our market. I thought you'd just share some more about that. Sure, and I, and I had a couple thoughts. One is just recognizing that most of the folks who are actually in that room um, we're flying in from somewhere else in the world, but likely outside of America, so they come to Las Vegas. My first thought was, I wonder how many of them actually believe the rest of America looks like this, with little miniature versions of other cities all over the place. And so my first message is not the rest of America it looks this way. Um, you know, and one of the things that we're actually talking about is the impact of the long tail on our business, which is there's an awful lot of people in the world who want to look at technology before they use it to build something, and more of them, by definition, than who actually want to buy it. And we've got to be in front of all of those audiences if we expect to build a big business. If you just want to go monetize a niche, then you should limit your distribution by how many sales reps you have. And the fascinating thing about the long tail is that it only exists if you put things there and you make it easy or cheap to go get them. So and part of the free software is go get things up. Well, and, and, and I think um, I just amplify that by saying if you make it convenient for them, because convenience is probably the ultimate force amplifier. You know, Google was successful not because they were free, but because you didn't have to get through a command line to go search. Um, and then simultaneously, it's got to match the objectives of the people who are grabbing it. So we have governments around the world that are using Solaris as an example, or open office, to go change the economics of their countries. And they're doing it because we're not only free as in price tag, but we're you know free as in philosophically and ethically free. They can use the technology to go change the course of their economy. And this is something, I think, in terms of expanding our market. We're in now interesting positions where we have companies we used to compete with who are now collaborating with us, cooperating with us, helping to expand our markets where we're doing things that we're only in Windows. Well, that's a great one for for hardware products to get that. Well, and simultaneously, Microsoft is uh, going to uh, agree to certify Windows running on Solaris in our virtualization. So that's obviously opening new markets in their install base. And simultaneously, we're going to certify Windows running on Solaris. Uh, sorry, we're going to certify Solaris running on Windows. It would be a trick if we did it the other way around. So the, the net of all of it is, you can't look at any company and say you are a binary competitor or you're a friend. You know, we're in an era where we're all going after this enormous market, and to the extent we can enlist IBM's help, even though they compete against us in some places, means we need more customers. And my um, you know, simple way of thinking about it from, from my vantage point is we have roughly 16,000 folks in the field, so 16,000. Of those, roughly 8,000, 7 or 8,000 are in the, the sales portion. And of those, roughly three to 4,000 are actually quota-bearing sales reps. So three to 4,000 folks to cover a planet of opportunity is, I mean, we could put three to 4,000 folks to work on the, you know, whatever's west of the Mississippi in the United States. We've got to use the internet to reach the broadest marketplace because those folks are precious, as is the time of all the customer engineers we have in there, so that we're gonna go work on the opportunities that are really identifying themselves as being, you know, commercial opportunities, not just adoption opportunities. And just the fact that you have, what, 4,000 folks in the audience here and you know, probably approaching that many on the internet across the world, and if we go put this externally around the world, how many people can see it? You know, as many people who have access to a reasonable bandwidth connection around the world.